So Matthew's a vampire in very dark colours, obviously the blacks and the greys. When he meets Diana, he becomes more relaxed. Lighter grey shirts to begin with, then progress to sort of blue, lighter weight suits, good cloth, well fitted. We've got quite an expensive wardrobe between us. We're all done up in these beautiful, amazing suits. It gives the impression of power, and they are powerful. Juliet is a very glamorous character. So we've got lots of rings for, for her. I've gone for very fitted clothing. The wine colour, the burgundies. Quite a vampy colour, I think. She's tried to weave things in in a very subtle way, costumes that have a colour or a texture that suggests something almost vintage. I found this amazing original Nina Ricci dress extremely elegant. It's so beautiful. I really admire what she does. So Diana started in the series in this lovely coloured coat. It is so good to see you. A lot of the witch colours I've gone for, you know, the blues and the greens, worked for Satu as an elemental witch. I found this amazing raincoat for her. It had like a witch collar. So Emily and Sarah are quite colourful. Bohemian, comfortable. That's exactly what I see Em wearing. Their home is very earthy, so I wanted to reflect that in their costumes. We move away from the formality of Oxford. Thin knits, T-shirt, a little bit of burgundy. I mix the burgundies for her attraction with Matthew, and we become much more cosy and comfortable. I love Sarah's ideas. I also loved what I wore during the dance sequence when I met Isabeau for the first time. We went for a, this pale grey jumpsuit that was relaxed elegant and, and sexy. Sarah's phenomenal, yeah. Nigel as well, who set the show, was brilliant. Flashes of colour for the demons. It's that creativity that they had. Very bold, colourful, mismatched clothing. Patchworks, check for Agatha. And they tend to be a bit more eccentric than the other characters. I get to look smart for once, so this is, this is quite nice for me.